Let's get right to the latest on the Boston bombing investigation. The suspect's parents speaking out this morning in Russia. They may be headed to the U.S. ABC's Brian Ross joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George and Robin. Authorities are preparing to move 19-year-old Jahar Zanayev to an area jail with an infirmary from the hospital where he's been treated, along with some of his alleged victims. Meantime, evidence of the alleged planning by him and his brother continues to surface. Overnight, federal agents and police discovered what could be more evidence of how the bombs were built. A stash of fireworks emptied of their gunpowder was discovered in a used clothing bin in Watertown. It was a device that looks like a bigger firecracker. So it was a device. Tell, tell us that again. Not a device, like a, like a big firecracker that had a wick. The bins were trucked away to the command center for the FBI team gathering evidence in the bombing. Officials believe fireworks purchased by the elder brother may have been used to help make the bombs. Authorities say they don't think there were any other attacks planned, but that the two brothers might have been heading to New York. Police there were scrutinizing this photo on a Russian social network page of one of the friends of 19-year-old Jahar Zernayev, showing Zernayev and others in Times Square a year ago. The New York police commissioner said he was told the two Zernayev brothers might be going to party in New York after the bombings. The bit of information that we have that it may have been words to the effect of coming to party in New York. People in Boston continue to struggle to understand the motive of the bombings and the murder of a police officer on the MIT campus. At Wednesday's memorial service for the slain officer, Vice President Biden spoke with angry contempt of the two brothers. Or two twisted, perverted, cowardly knockoff jihadis here in Boston. Why do they do what they do? America. It was just last year, on September 11th, in this ceremony at Boston's TD Garden, that 19-year-old Jahar Zarnayev swore his allegiance to the United States and became an American citizen. Seven months later, authorities say he told FBI agents that he and his brother planted bombs at the Boston Marathon and killed a police officer because, he said, Muslims are at war with the U.S. His father said this morning in Russia he plans to leave Russia today to come to Boston to see his surviving son and to bury his dead one. The parents continue to deny their son's involvement and no one, family or friends, has yet provided a cogent answer as to why the two young men seem to have turned on their adopted country, George. It's a big mystery. Okay, thanks, Brian.